What up, everybody? So check it out. Uh, this gentleman right here just bought our 37 panel truck that we built for Joe T. Uh, what, about five years ago, I guess? Seven. Seven years ago. And uh, you're taking it back to where? New Jersey. New Jersey. You're gonna take this fine, awesome Texas specimen up to where all the rust is. <laughs> No, we'll take care of it. All right. And uh, what a lot of people don't know is Victor that we have working here for us. Come in here, Victor. Victor didn't work for us at the time. Yep. Uh, he worked for uh, 44 Build, and uh, he was the one that actually did all the interior. Check it out. Yeah. So uh, he made all the leather straps and kind of gave it this uh, really oh, cool feel. The soil, including the, uh, the liner. So check that out. So now what we're going to do with this way back to New Jersey is my daughter has a mobile pizza oven and catering business. It's called Emily's Hearth. And we're going to use this to tow her hearth and have her signage underneath yours for her catering business. Well, that's really cool because I am a pizza connoisseur. <laughs> I literally tell my wife all the time, she's like, you can't eat pizza for every meal. And I'm like, pizza has all the five food groups. I mean, it's, it's a perfect meal. It has vegetables, it has dairy, it has right. uh, all of, I don't even know what the food groups are because I just like pizza. But uh, no, this is really cool. We love to see vehicles come back by that have been through. Uh, you know, during our course of uh, Fast and Loud, we actually built uh, an astounding 178 vehicles. Wow, I didn't and know it was that many. It was an amazing amount. Most shops that are very uh, proficient and good shops that turn out some cars, build like 30 in their lifetime. Wow. And we built 178 in uh, about just under nine years. That's amazing. Yeah, so uh, we're pretty proud of the, the stuff that we do. It's good to see the quality. Uh, it's a fantastic build. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. It is, it's very cool. I'm tempted to buy it back from you. <laughs> well, I'll give you first refusal. Okay, cool. Hey, <laughs> I appreciate it, man. You got, <laughs> you as long as it comes with a pizza. <laughs> well, <I don't> <laughs> well, we'll, also, we'll also bring the four other food groups. Yeah, there you go. I don't even know what they are. Fat, cholesterol, sodium, and alcohol. Hey, oh, you guys oh. Made you, you, got it. you want a beer? Let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, what is it like seeing what you've like made like x amount of years on now um i don't know i i'll tell you this when i saw it i saw you know first glimpse the great truck and kind of like got you know a little flashback i guess and I, I think i remember that i've seen that before so as i'm walking to it it kind of like hit me you know like a skillet in my head and I said, man, I think I, I, I worked on this uh, on this uh, vehicle. So as I'm walking to it, you know, all those memories, it's about eight years. Yeah, it's about eight years ago that uh, I did. And it's still like looking good, man. Uh, I guess so, man. Uh, it was uh, literally, I put every bolt, every nail, every piece of, uh, every strap of leather, every piece of uh, metal, every bolt. In the liner as well, and it, it was it was great, 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 uh, great memories. Definitely, it was challenging. It was challenging, and uh, yeah, I don't think I did too bad. But yeah, it was great. Definitely, you know, like all those flashes. Look, whoa! I remember. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, kick ass, man. All right, so. It's Friday afternoon, a little thing I call fucking Friday, and I think it's time to go on a little beer walk. All right, so here we are. This is Collins, it's Collins Brothers Cheek. Time to do a beer walk. I got some beer. Collins is uh, Irish, so I'm gonna give him an Irish 12 pack, which is, uh, which is 10. Because I had two on the way here. <laughs> like to talk to a man about a Jeep. I got one for sale. We'll, we'll buy it. What do you got? Oh my goodness, look what just happened on my front porch. We're going to have to move. What happened on your front porch? Is that a snake? Yes, look how big it is. Oh, we oh. had one crawl out of a car the other day. That is so big. Yeah, we did have one crawl out of our car the other day that we bought That's and nice. trailered it to Dallas from Alabama. And this thing about that big crawled out of it. Oh my God. In the middle of the shop. Where's Master Collins? I think he's over there. Can't do a beer walk yeah, without beer. You. <laughs> yeah, you What's up, sir? Yeah. 
How do you like my mess? Your mess is fine. Is it Friday? It's bucket Friday and time for beer walk. <laughs> Thought we'd come out here and see what's going on. Well, you want to see nice stuff or you want to see cool project see stuff? All of it. All of it? All of it. Especially those that property like 15 minutes away you keep talking about. Oh, there's only 200 out there. This is insane, dude. Is this like your to-do board? Yeah. We've been talking about that months for freaking 12 years. Uh, let's see how long this has been. The there. paper's yellow. That's how long it's been. 2012. It's only yeah. been 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll show you some cool project stuff first. Well, get your beer. It's not a beer walk unless you're having a beer. I, how about I get my coffee? How's that? How about you just have a beer? Oh, God. Mama Collins said it was okay. I just saw her. She didn't say it was okay. Yes, well, she did. Well, don't forget. That. I don't think she said that. Mama Collins, can Dennis have a beer? She said yes. Did. She didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, is this Blue like Island Coffee? Let me show you my coolest new acquisition. Coolest new acquisition. Look at this forklift. Holy shit. Oh, that's a bad dude. What up, Con Man? What up, Con Man? Hey, tell me you love me like I'm, I'm Uncle Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, RTD, Rough Terrain Diesel. Well, where can I get one of these? I ordered this, it took 15 months to get it. I'll pay double. Yeah, this, I mean, this thing will pick up anything hard. And, I mean, you, it picks up even a blazer just like it's nothing. Still take that, Chase. AC? I know. That's... AC, heat, cab. It's three, it's three. Now I've got another one order, but won't be here for another 18 months. That's uh, all wheel drive. It's this is just rad, two wheel man. drive. So that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, here's my new Ram. Really? 2022 Ram. Damn. Ordered that last November. It just came in. Funny, I, I ordered a, I didn't even order a TRX and I got a brand new one within like two days. But I know people. Yes, you are very popular. <laughs> white bed, white front bumper. Uh, 58 Corvette that I just found that nobody's seen. What's the deal with that? 71 911 just came out of Austin. This is a what? 71 911 just came out of Austin. What do you want for that? The since it's 82. I think we cut it in half, put it on a wall. No, that's better than that. For you? Yeah. You're insane. Not I just bought a 60J running driving one. I know, I sold, for sold it to you. I Big know. Turned to 58 and 62 in price. What's that's that? actually a 2.7 Carrera, a real Carrera portion next to R right there. What do you want for this? If you didn't buy this, you won't buy that. What? If you didn't buy this, you won't buy that. Well, what's that $20,000 Porsche away? I did. Okay. Remember this? No, I don't. Oh, this is our original shop from over 30 years ago. It's been since 1985, we just hauled out of the ground. This is 64 and a half? You know what, I think it might be. Let's see if it's got a generator. Well, it's 289 car, so no. Okay. It's just a 65. Right, that's what I think it was originally it was a two barrel car Seco, but it's now got a four barrel. Just wow. a good builder car. Yeah, but just I mean, in case you need a convertible. You got your guys working in here and short ceilings, no AC. Oh, there's AC. Okay. It's right back there and it's working. All right, just making sure. It's overflow, right, Josh? That's absolutely right. Yeah. <laughs> We're working on it. Hey, man. Is there a big call for uh, Jeep consoles? Actually, there is, and we usually don't sell them because they're hard to get. Yeah, you just put one in the challenge Jeep. And we need, and we need them. Two three wheelers up there. They both Dude, actually run. Did you see oh, you're going for the two fifty eight uh, ATV that went for like twelve grand on e on bring a trailer? Yeah, it was, like 12, a, it was a two, grand. probably a two fifty R. It was a stroker, yeah. It, it yeah. was a two stroke. Those both actually run. Um, you got I, enough cheap doors to this? I had twelve hundred pairs, and that's what's left. Well, are those even usable out there? They're, no, they're too rough. That's why they're out that's there. That's too rough. Why do you keep them? We use parts off of it. I thought that I thought. is actually a 65 912 on the container, one of 11 built. I have two of this, two of the 11. Really? Yep. How's that for art, Chase? But it's a 912. <laughs> 912, rarer than the early 911s. That, it's actually aluminum bodied. Hey, did you see the one of these that's on um, Craigslist right now for 19? Well, 
This is a supercharged car. Okay. So in 1962, this was the fastest car in the world. It was even the fastest production car in fastest the world. Fastest production car in 1962. Right, Andy Granatelli drove them. So here's the kicker on this, look at this. Paxton supercharged, super T10 four speed, with the Dana 44. So this car wow. go 162 miles an hour, not modified at all in 1962. And Andy Granatelli ran them in the stock class modified at around 200 miles an hour in 63 and 4. That's freaking cool, man. The reason they stopped making them is because the same factory that built this body, built the flat bodies of Chevrolet, basically put the kibosh on yeah, this. Yeah, killed it. That's, a neat, that's the one to have right there. Wow. 289 that's, supercharged four speed. What's that worth? CJ? No, no this no. is a Um, I'd sell it to you. I'd for it. How's that? Uh, I'll give you three grand. So you pay <laughs> for it? <laughs> Golden Eagle, like Daisy Duke, right there. Yeah, I just pulled that one out of a garage. Original paint. That's going to clean up really, really well. I mean, Golden Eagle's one of my favorite Jeeps. We have tons of customers for those. And also, if you look at the front, you can tell right off the bat that it's an automatic because it doesn't have lockouts in the front. Yep. yep. Pretty cool. The hood was stuck on it. We finally got it open. Not numbers matching, but had a pretty good surprise. It actually got a 7455 HO motor. So, not the original motor, but a good motor. It's pretty straight. I'm trying to buy some. How much is that? Uh, for you? Yeah. Hmm. I'll think about that one. It's a 70. What and is it has this? A title. This is the one I found in San Francisco. Yeah, that's that one, yeah. That, so we kind of put it out there for everybody to tell us what they thought it was. The overwhelming number one response was Oscar, which is what I thought it was. The number two response was AC, number three was Bristol. Uh, but it's I think it's kind AC of- a, or Bristol. Well, the chassis looks like it is. It's kind of a combination of maybe two is or three cars. Is it powered or front power? It's front power. Uh, like uh, I, I, I think it had a, an early Maserati motor in this some Chevrolet motor in it now. So now it's been modified jack with but this this guy street raced this car in San Francisco for many years. But we haven't hundred percent figured out what it is, but we think it's an Oscar. How which was basically this? a Maserati. I don't know. I don't know how to price it. Probably fifteen hundred. <laughs> <laughs> You're being cheap today. These are just all CJ's ready to go in the shop. And we're gonna look out front. There's some pretty rare classics that came in that have not been on camera on our camera or your camera that are about to go out to Nevada, which is what Chase is talking about. So they come in here and the expensive ones we take off and the kind of the less expensive ones end up going out there. Put it out there. I like that Golden Eagle, dude. How much is that? Uh, that'll probably sell for wow. What? Yeah. That's nuts. That is crazy. Well, look, I mean, look at the, what the nice Blazers and Broncos are doing. Yeah, that's nuts. I mean, that's a V8 Golden Eagle. That is I just want to make sure that the audience knows that we're here where they do coffee walking drink coffee or he does while he does it and i came for beer walk on a friday afternoon and he ain't even drinking no yet. beer <laughs> 89 ram charger which i think you're familiar with the yeah, 89. yes i saw uh, tell me about this one a little, a little bit came from illinois that's why it did but this is the first year the 360 and it's fuel injected four-wheel drive from the factory so it's kind of the one to have he said the interior's the interior, no the interior's nice and that's just oh, real, that's like brand new the interior's actually really nice no rips no tears dashing cracked it's literally like brand new. Original paint. Wow. What's left of it? What's left of it? 70 Super B's been parked since 1969. I mean, I'm sorry. That would be impossible. That would be 70 hard, Super B right? parked since 1979. You better edit that out, Sajin. I got you, sir. <laughs> original paint. 33 4 barrel car. I think it's the original motor. How much is this $5,000 shit box? I gotta get it. You know, Dennis, you brought me up in the car world. You taught me everything I know and helped me do all this shit. You've never had a and 70 Super B. No. <laughs> never. And I don't know if I'd be getting much of one for <laughs> All right, Chase, I want you to get under the trailer and look at the floors in that 68 Charger. Look at the, the rear rail. Look at all two, the areas right? that are always rusty. This came from Rockford too, right? It was in the guy's garage, though. He said it was never in the snow or never in the salt. Wow. That's just the salt from the air. That's just surface rust. Incredibly there. solid. But here's what else only, is the only really good. Is normal shit. Super high option car. Bucket seat, console, power steering, power brakes, AC, which is really rare in these because the dash is different. All yeah, the good yeah, stuff's yeah. different. Yeah, it's all about it. Well, that's why it's not a holy grail, Dennis. Well, it's quite, almost holy grail, Richard. It's pretty close. Brewster Green, saddle tan interior, 455, 73 trans That's a tough car to find. 
Mickey, but it's look. a real SD. No, it's not. It's just a 450. It's not a Super Duty. Okay. It's not a Super Duty. It's just a 450. There you go. Now I'm back with five grand. Mickey loud, Mickey loud out for a mayo. Actually, quite rare. It's the only second one I've ever seen. Huh. 71 transit. Just a fiber body. Uh, Mustang fastback. Good hey, for restaurant. I got a question. Are you still in the car business? Or are you just car collecting? <laughs> no, we actually we sold four of these this week before they even went to Nevada. Wow. 71 Trans Am, 67 Mustang Convertible. 67. I thought you sold this. I did. The guy never picked it up. Well, how much is this $500 car? 67 Firebird Convertible. It's actually not rusty. The floors are good in it. Future. Uh, I think it's a, a uh, Falcon. Yeah. You got fastbacks galore, man. Fastback, fastback. They're tough to find. Hard. I sold this 455. So Starlight Black, right? 455 four-speed car, which is tough to find. It's going to Cutter. Sold it yesterday. Who? And uh, Qatar Cutter. Sorry. And oddly enough, 30 minutes after that, I had a guy from Kuwait said, "I'll take it." Oh, sure. So I guess a black black four-speed. Toyota Dually. I've only seen one of those okay. ever in my life. According well, you're about to, to see two pieces of one, because that's going to fall down. No, it's not going to break it half. the fuck did you get those glasses? <laughs> According to one of the guys I talked to, Chase, there's only three of these were brought into the U.S. And I know where one's yeah, at. I've seen a few. I saw Have one you? in uh, California when I was uh, filming. I know where one's at. Well. That's it. Of Here, look what options got. Rear end of this thing is sexy. Man. Yeah, they're, they're good looking cars. This car does run. Is it a trap hour? No, it's a single. So, the last good one of these I had sitting here, Richard got turned them into the minus money. Yeah. Yeah. This California car, fantastic. Four speed, four speed, trap hour. That was that $7,500 bet. Not rusty. No, it's not. It's kind of a couple of this is actually a real pace car convertible that came out of Indianapolis. It's got its original license in front of it. 1963. $15,499. We bought one back in the day. It wasn't diesel, it was a fire truck. It had 8,900 miles on it. Clean as a whistle. Well, that's a good truck to build if somebody wants a four-wheel drive diesel. Especially low miles like that. A beer walk with myself. Wow. So you're, you're taking the beer back? Yeah. <laughs> if right. you're not sharing, then I ain't splitting. Well, let's go. We'll jump in that ramp in front. We'll head down and I'll show you the uh, 78 Super Cab. So this looks interesting. That's Jay Ricky's. He bought that from your sale. I know. <laughs> As a matter of fact, some of your stuff is here. Well, the Rico van, that, and uh, okay, I've got here. something that you're going to absolutely have to have, maybe. Okay. Look at that wheel on the ground. Oh, no, pin, no. uh, Mercy, uh, Mira. Correct. And it's never been, look at, look, never flip been it up. It's never been on the car. That is a brand new Mira Sparrow. Never been mounted. Mira. Never mounted. How much is that? 100 bucks? Will you want me to tell you what the last two sold for? No. Okay. <laughs> 100 bucks? No. Holy shit. The last two brought over It's never been on a car. So how about you buy this before, like, so you can wait to buy like that? Like the Miro. Like then, the you car. Can, then you can chase the rest of it. Good luck. I mean, that's incredible. You're really that has... telling me that you think that's worth without a doubt. It's never been mounted. Look at the sticker still on the tires. Holy shit. Guy called me and said he had it in his garage. You gave I actually sent a bucks. truck up there just to pick that up. For $200? I did. No. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. And it's cash. Holy cow, Dennis. That is, I would have never guessed it. Okay, you want to see something that's amazing? Yeah. What do you think is in those other four boxes? I don't know. The other four. The other four wheels. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole set there. <laughs> there's a whole set of unmounted. No, those are brought in the car. Oh, okay. These we don't have to open them up, but I guess. No, I actually got all five mirror wheels. That's an incredibly rare find. With tires? No. The, those are tires. That's what those are spares in the car. Well, what happened to the car? Got wadded up a long time ago. All right. Well, I'm in for 15 grand for the set. <laughs> God, he's cheap. Super cheap. 
But guess what? You got a deal. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> what is going on in here? It's kind of just overflow warehouse for I've now. Only, I've only seen this on security cameras. Sean's doing all that. Got a uh, really, uh, what is this, like a 23? I bought that from you. Did you? Yeah, that's a 1908. You bought it in a package. <laughs> and we got it running and driving. <laughs> And actually, we found the engine number and the chassis number. They both matched the paintwork. And I called the guy back, and they found the title. The What's up with the target? It's a 73 and a half. It actually runs and drives. So How that's the that? very, very last time we'll sell you the Porsches. What? None of the Porsches are for sale. Wow. This is bullshit, Dennis. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where's the truck? There's a whole lot of Jeep going on. Okay, so in 87 and 88, Ford had a huge issues with paint. Yep. Everybody knows it. Huge Trucks and the Mustangs. This is a one owner truck. The paint went bad on it, it was just weeks old. He took it back to the dealership for them to repaint it. He looked at some of the cars he repainted, he's like, uh-uh. Got really upset and just brought it home and parked it. Opened the door of that, look at the miles. Like Original tires. Four wheel drive. No bed liner. 90, 989 miles? Yes, less than a thousand extra miles. And it looks at the chassis, it look fantastic. How much is this beater? Which is exactly what I gave uh, Nolan for it. I just had time to paint it. I gave him, I gave That's crazy, dude. It's a 980 mile truck. Yeah, but it's a bulldoze. I mean, I don't know. What if we do with that? Uh, it's Jonathan's deal with selling it. Oh. One over 81 Camaro, lady owned. Last year, that five. Oh, that's the Drive V6 church. one, right? Yeah, V6. Yeah. Came with a 71 Cuda. It does run, it does actually run and drive. That was crazy. It does be a good resto mod car. How much is this? You. That's, 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 that's. It's not really, it's got a big dip back there, and this door gas on it's been painted. It's been <laughs> painted. It's been painted. It's been painted. Yes, it has been painted. Ah, uh, see, I know. Yeah, 10 years ago. Twenty thousand on the hour. Just <laughs> Richard, you gotta buy that. <laughs> oh, we can do so much on stunning. YouTube with that. The bottom, under the hood, and the bottom of this car is just. How perfect. much is that seventy-five hundred dollar car? God dang, Dennis! I found this car local. What? Look at that. Yeah, that's worth every. That's cool. All day long, right? I think it is. Well, why don't you put your money in it, Chase? Look at that. As long as it's coming from me. <laughs> the other carriage looks like this too. Look at all the cat plating and stuff. I mean, this car is yeah, just nice. insanely nice. It's never been advertised. It's never been for sale. Dude, the exhaust looks great. Until now? Well, I, just, I gave Richard a price on it, but no, it's not advertised. It's not for sale. I mean, for 10. Look at all the decals and stuff up here. I'll give you 10. No. Wow. I mean, the exhaust looks brand new. The car's mint. It's an incredible car. Perfect. It drives great. Too. So the problem with this is we take it back and cut it up and drop it up. Kind of stupid <laughs> stuff to it. All right, let's. Uh, I really do believe in this. That you've become a hoarder. Says the says the the chief hoarder himself. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm a hoarder, not a hoarder. Now, almost every almost every jeep in here is sold. Waiting to have some service work done or to be delivered. Factory hardtop for CJ5. Fits 76 to 83. Um, you can come back here and, and you can actually see this. It's got to be cool. I like it's got to be craving water so there's a special, yeah, it's special, special, special equipment section of the Jeep that you can order them through. Yeah, it's really. Was it called the Waterburger Edition? <laughs> it's going to look like that. I didn't think about that. The V8 power steering, power brakes, Mandarin orange, one year only color. Maybe it is, something. I this. It's not for sale. It is for sale. We're going to see a bunch more today. What did you pay me for this? Twelve five. Yeah, I think so, yeah. We got to run it and drive it. It was up in Utah. We're using that at uh, Zach's wedding. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's going to be his wedding car. It's going to be cool. <laughs> that's so cool. Wrong way. I don't know where I'm going. Go right there. Oh! Oh, there's our car. I haven't seen this yet. This is rad. 
What do you mean our car? Well, me and Dennis decided to split this car. I couldn't go to Chicago area to get it. And uh, Dennis, I'll let you tell him the story. Well, the story is going to come out next Friday. So you're going to have to wait till then. But we'll hold for that. But okay. give it to us on the camera for now. So, just uh, finished unraveling the story last week. So I've been working on it for about six months. Um, basically, long story short, this is a 67 GT350 Shelby that the guy, he worked at a big plant or whatever outside the Rockford, Illinois area, I believe. And he was down in the lunch room and said, hey, I went over to the local dealership to try to order a high performer Shelby. And they basically told me no. And his friend goes, well, you realize that the owner of this company is one of Carol Shelby's best friends. So he went up there and the guy got on the phone and literally called Carol Shelby and said, well, get, you, get your band to put a list together of what his wants are and call me back. So two months later, his boss comes down and goes, here's your plane ticket. You're going to LAX, you're going to Shelby, your car's ready. And he thought his boss was just pulling his leg the whole time. So he shows up there. In 1967, there were only 36 factory supercharged cars ever made. 36. Wow. There was one in Wimbledon White. And this is it. So this was wow. delivered by Carroll Shelby himself to this guy. We finally found his name. His name is his name, he raced on the name Mickey. His name was Mike Metzger. So this, this car went in for service. Um, Jack Loftus Ford is what we think, but we can't, and we're not ragging Jack Loftus Ford. Anyway, one of the porters took it out and wrecked it. So Mike Metzger couldn't get another one because it was one of the 36 supercharged cars. He then went and put a tilt front end on it, altered wheelbase, and ran it as a gas. Okay. So it is, so it is, it is. Yeah, it's a and we also have figured out what the car number is. It is Shelby number 1477. Wow. And this was a hellacious amount of Look at that. time. I mean, I know, this this the gear interior is in between So, the back in the day, the, the Is this like the first time? Cars was this first time I've seen it. Box. We've actually owned it this for like it. six or eight months. I um, just figured this out. Just figured it out. This is rad, D. It's neat looking, isn't it? It is fucking seriously mean looking, man. So, really, really what's the plan it. for it, guys? I think, I think either we we're gotta, ready to sell it or you put it in your Mustang collection. I think we got to get it running. It'd be insane running. Take it to a yeah. Ford meet. I wonder why they have these little pulls in here. There's one, one in there. there. Off. Did you, you see the, the brake deck and all that stuff back there? Is that what it is? Okay. Yeah. That's the, the cool rear brakes. Holy shit! That they went into some trouble. Rad. Dang. If you look inside there, with, with roll bar mass on stuff, it's all factory stuff from Shelby. Yeah, no, that's that's fucking that's insane. It's got a parachute on it. When we bought this car, <laughs> we took a, when we bought this car, we took a big risk. As you know, and I, told you that, I, said, I told you this. I told you we paid good money. I said we this oh, may be right. money gone in the wind. I said I have confidence in Shelby, but I don't know what it is yet. But I've got all the paperwork, it's all figured out. It is a real Shelby. And then, okay, this so, one. go ahead. Um, you know, we've done this before. You had to bail me out of the, the, the F40 and stuff like that. What does it cost me to bail you out of this? Hard money right now with everything that we've done. We probably have sits. Yeah. I mean, would you know what we paid for it? Yeah. Um, I don't know how. Fuck you, man. Okay, you want to know what the last supercharged seat sold for? Is black car, and I can show it to you. It sold for seven hundred. The cheapest of these thirty-six cars that has sold yet is four hundred. So I got to give you to walk away from this. Well, you haven't given me anything yet, so. Well, I know. That means I need. That'd be half of it. <laughs> <laughs> You give me a walk away. There's an incredible amount of money, opportunity left if you, if you wanted to do that. That is fucking rad. I want that to fucking so bring rad. that to my shop and let Chase do it. Oh, the car would be insane. Boss Chase? So down. So here's the other thing. The car was supposedly extremely fast and extremely competitive, but it only got to run for half of a season. He had a daughter, so he stopped racing. Then when he came back the next season to race, 
this alter wheelbase class, they changed the rules. Yeah, yeah, you need to get some pictures. <laughs> That's the problem back in the day. So this didn't, they were changing rules so, so much. Quick. Cause they pulled the, here's, here's they the, pulled the motor thing. back. Look at this though. The cow only has spot for one windshield. Now this front end tilts up. I know, but they only made a spot for one yeah. windshield wiper. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, the super famous guy that did the alteration of this car, and this is going to get your attention, and we have resources this heavily, and he is the guy that did it. Listen to this, Chase. And this is a mind-blowing number, and I chased it down, pardon the pun, before we put it on camera because I thought it was high. To have this car altered and to do the front end of this car and set it up the way they set it up with, with the reverse box for Corvair and all the mm -hmm. trick stuff back in the day was $25,000 in 69. That sounds about right because- 25,000 they spent on this. That'd be like bringing one right now and bringing in an alternate, I mean, it's two, 300 grand. Bro, yeah. So this car has the so, best of the best stuff underneath. So it. since we're partners on this, can I bring this back since you're busy? Can me and Chase put this thing back up, back to running? Sure. Cool. I'll have a trailer head this way right now. <laughs> leave the bus here. You mean like hey, now? Why do we, oh, why do we wait a, about two weeks? Okay. Let me get that release. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you want to get your hands on it now, huh? Yeah, I want to get my hands on it right now. <laughs> that was your from you. And you haven't done shit with it. I haven't messed it. Uh, this is, you know what this car, have I shown you this car? Uh, uh, it's 67 pounds back. Okay. Look right here, Chase. The car doesn't say Mustang on it anywhere. Never. So which tells you. Oh, is this the oh. one y'all found? Yeah, a while ago that was like they brought it overseas and then brought it back. We, and we solved the mystery of this last week as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we got all the paperwork, all the history of this. So this car was brought into Saigon okay. by the the lead guy of the Navy in Saigon for the defense contractors. He drove it in Saigon for two years and then he sold it to a guy that was in the 98th Paratrooper Division who drove it in the war zone for two years. Wow. Whose buddy, which is how this guy back here, this was it? Was a PT boat captain on the Mekong, and he was a river rat. Really? And so we presented all, this paperwork has all been presented to Ford. Ford went through their archives. They did come back and say that car was in fact, did go to South Vietnam during the war. And it was the wow. only Mustang fastback that ever went to Vietnam. And there were four coupes. But wow. here's where it gets really, really neat. Come check this out. So you know how you're always looking for a buck tag for the history of the car. Right. So we, we refer to this as the Vietnam car. Okay. Which to me, I, I think as far as significant on a Mustang Fastback, you can't get any more significant than this. No. But read this tag right here. The build tag actually says South Vietnam. That is insane. That's rad. Is that not me? And I got, and I got it took me a while to wind up on the paper, but I have it all. Do you know how badass you would have been if you were the dude that ordered in the Mustang? Chris well, yeah. I, I put on my social, and maybe you guys can get this question going too. And I, I just, I asked a question out there and I wasn't trying to say this because I think this car is more valuable. Right. So I told the story about this car. I said, which car is cooler, the bullet car or this car? This car overwhelmingly won the poll on the my fact social that it media. Blown up or bowl holes in it? They have bowl holes in it. <laughs> right, I'm just saying that because it's been painted. It was originally dark moss green, and somebody painted it a little bit different color. Okay. But then, I think this is an amazing piece of history. Right? Both of these cars are amazing. Both of these Mustangs are really significant Mustangs. How much is this one? Uh, about the same price to you. Jesus, Dennis. So the bottom of this car is the chassis is exceptionally clean. I mean, crazy nice. No rust. No flash. 66. You can make it a 63 if you want to. There's still the, the mold to pop in the back for right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it runs and dries. Uh, what my plan is for this, I was, you know, I was just gonna do the jams in satin black and wrap it in black. It's just so much quicker and easier. Super but cool. as it is right now, somebody can paint it, do whatever they want to with it. But roads dries, mechanically it's good. It just really needs, needs to be painted. 66 coupe. 72, strike your car, 455 formula, crazy rare. Let's go see the rest of this stuff. Jesus, every single day. No way. Oh, it's so fucking fresh. Dadgum, dude. Undisclosed again? You're first again. Undisclosed, again. Again. Undisclosed <laughs> location. What? Mini vet? So, it, look at the top left corner of the dash. Those are actually serialized to each one of the 53 Corvettes, which there was 300 of. So when was this made? It was made for the 50th anniversary of the 53 Corvette, so in 2003. That's pimp. And it was done by Chevrolet. That, uh, they actually were the ones that licensed the rights to do that. They actually come with a title. That <laughs> so that's car 135, and this is car 134. So I would assume this is a 53. It's actually a 55. 
Well, How much why is, is that a 53? Well, because I was a close. The guy owned this car and thought that was cool. All right, gotcha. So I've had a few of these. 55 Corvette. Uh, first year of the V8, they only made 700 of them. How much is this? This car runs and drives. Beautiful. Uh, but it's not numbers matching. You know, they originally came with 265s. It's got a 283 four barrel. Okay. And they originally came with power glide. It's got a four speed and a 410 positive in the back. So the guy did some like autocross style stuff. In it. But I tell you what, for a cheater car, this thing is fast and it drives great. So this is the holy grail that we came to see. I think this is the holy grail, Jimmy. 91's the last year. It's a 91. And it was driven one time I, when I got it. The guy special ordered it. Drove it home and that was it. We brought it to the shop. Miles. What's it showing, Chase? 113 miles. 113. 113. When I picked it up, it had 110. Uh, has not been buffed, waxed, cleaned. This is just how, this is how we found it. It's this nice. Wow. Holy shit. Does it look brand new down there? No, you can see every sticker. You can see everything. Uh, it's yeah. perfect. Another thing is. Look at <laughs> Look at these. The shocks is a quad shock, which is which was a relatively rare option. Look at that, Chase. Quad shocks. Yep, quad shocks. That was an option. That's teamwork. But to restore something like this to this level would just be... You can't. Possibly. You can't do it. Blue, wow. top, blue top is a special order option. Isn't that incredible? It is. How much is this $1,500 truck? I haven't priced it yet. Dude, I think a cross trailer Jackson is almost six figures. You think it brings a hundred? I think, I, think it, I think it could bring multiple six figures. You think it could bring hundreds of yes. thousands? I think, it's, yes. I think at the bare minimum is 99.5. No, I think it brings more than that. I said the bare minimum, 99.5. Here's the other question. This is the one when we were talking to Roaster Shop on their podcast. Yes. This is why I said, what if I had a truck like this? Well, I bought it and now it's here. Yeah, we so, the Oil and Whiskey podcast. I was to say that last year, the black, white, Blazer about four hundred fifty thousand dollars. It was on a roaster shop chassis. Jeez. Had a five hundred and two Ram jet in it. It was amazing. But you see, you put a roaster shop chassis in a five hundred two underneath this, a brand I, new ninety one. I don't think so, new. man. I'd leave it like this. That'd, That'd be my guess. It's just a thought. But it's a hundred and thirteen actual mile one owner on the original title. Open the glove box. When I pulled the stuff out of the glove box, he said it never been touched. I'll give you the first thing I'll give you 55 grand. You can read the, the tag. You can actually read the tag on this one. Isn't that crazy? That's pretty insane. route. And they're still out there. I guarantee you this isn't the only one. They're around. And the pages are white, Dan. I don't I don't know of another one, but yeah, I mean stuff like this exists, but this trick's my trigger, Dennis. This is cool. So that's one fan come from new. My, my neighbor had one of these. Really? Kid. So it's a 1984 AMC Eagle Limited wagon. Uh, now, look at the miles on this. 400? Uh, 3,442. Three, okay, I see it. So 3,400, one family owned miles. It, this is the nicest one I've ever seen. I've been around American Motor stuff my whole life and Jeep stuff my whole life. This is 84? 84. Okay, so it's got a bunch of small crap. Mm -hmm. The majority of these that were built up prior up to 84 and including 84, were, most of them were four cylinders. So this is a six cylinder, it is four wheel drive. How much automatic. is this $10,000 car? It is actually on Bring a Trailer right now. What's it doing? So you can bid on it. It's at 20. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's going to do way better than that. <laughs> Three days left? No, uh, four days left. Personally, I think this goes on Ring a Trailer. Then you kill it. I don't know if it brings enough on there. No, I think this is a Barry Jackson. Well, there you go. So there it is. And now I am walking around during beer walk without a beer, and you won't drink because it's working out. I got some, I, there's some beer in the pool house if you want one. <laughs> Let's put it back to this truck. You can get that in the school bus, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When did you buy that, Richard? So this is pretty cool. I only bought two things out of the auction that I had for all the uh, motorcycles and everything from the Denny Cannonberg collection. I bought this sign and I bought one motorcycle that's still sitting up in Indiana, but uh, now Wait, we get to take it home. Does that mean you bought this from yourself? I did. You actually bought another sign too. It's in my office. Oh, okay. I need that. <laughs> so what need about this? It's been 15 years since we did that. Can you believe that? 15 years since we set the Cannonball World Record. And if I remember right, we were both about like this. Yep. 
Oh, God, my knees hurt. Can't do this anymore. <laughs> that was our picture back then. Oh. Hell, now we both get lightheaded just taking a picture. That's pretty bad. Oh, you got you got the motorcycle. Uh, CBX is in there. Base of high spikes in there. And then my Corvette wheels and tires. Dude, that was the best buy in the auction right there. That was freaking good. A complete set of new old stock. What are these, 69? 69s. Yeah. yeah. Never been on a car. That's rad. I like the CBX, dude. Yeah, it's neat. It's got nine tenths of a mile on now. I bought it at eight, and we put pushed it around. Have you gotten it started? No, I haven't touched it. Uh, I'll give you what you paid for it. Okay. What? What'd you pay for it? It's beer walk, man, and you're not drinking beer and you're overpricing cars. It's not overpriced. I've got more in it than you offered. But look at how this wrinkle is. Stuck. That's patina. It needs to stay just like that. It needs to stay just like it is and just get it running and driving. It's missing the, the, the fairing things in the front. <laughs> it doesn't need them. Well, and it's a 70. Idea, it's a 73. That, that's 71 right there. It's about the same price. We'll bring about what I quoted you that. But we're friends. I thought <laughs> we are friends. That's a friend price. How about Damn. 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 That was too. Whoa! I got something bought from Dennis. What the hell's going on? The world's falling apart. You know what? One of these big American convertibles so I can have some space back? I'll give you 10 for that Bonnet, that Pontiac. What? Well, you said you know it's not worth that. I'll tell you what, I'm, this is a huge mistake on my part because I'm not going to. I know I'm what you're going to actually say. lose money. You're going to say for both of them. No, I was actually going to say. Okay, cool. I got them both and I got the Pontiac. Woo! We're going Pontiac. -ing. All right, man. It's beer, walk, beer walk number two. Number one. Two. Number one? Two? No, it's two. Beer one. <laughs> Doesn't. Well, I got a long way to go because you've done what, 200 coffee walks? Uh, next Friday is coffee walk number 200, episode wow. 200. Kick ass. And that, folks, next time we'll show you the other 200 plus cars in the warehouse with the really good stuff, but that's gonna be coffee. That's gonna be beer walk further down the road. We'll see you next time. He's not drinking, it's not fucking beer walk if you don't drink beer, Dennis. Well, I was holding it. Richard here at Gas Monkey Garage. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon. And uh, we're gonna try to do a bunch of these events. We're calling it Tacos and Tires. So we got a taco truck here. We're gonna fly down some uh, tacos, maybe a few cold beers, and uh, let everybody see some of the cars, walk around the campus, and uh, have a good time. That's what it's all about. Get you some. I saw your video two nights ago with a guy. Uh -huh. That was a beautiful, I don't know, your shop was so big. You were here, with, we saw you with my son four years ago when he started high school, now he's graduating. He's oh, very good. Cool. So I wanted to bring my wife by. Love you your show, man. Thank you. Welcome to your shop. All right, buddy. Yeah. All right, thank you. What's up, Scratch? How are you, man? Good. Good. I'll get with y'all. Yeah, very cool. Richard, I need this car gone. It's automatic, man. That's a deal killer. I have a five speed. You want one? Huh? I have a five speed. Uh, I've got a, a 79 inside of there. Do you have somebody who works on it or what? Uh, no. I know these from the back. It's 79 a, and 95. Uh, 78? Yeah, so 78. It's a mechanical fuel injection. But by this year, it's a five liter dual overhead cam, fuel injected completely. Yeah. I've got a, a one owner in there, 79. Original paint, uh, it's like a uh, Sahara tan yeah. color with uh, posh interior. Does it run? Oh yeah. Okay, great. everything great. It's for sale. Yeah, well, I'm trying. I have two. Of them. I'm trying to get rid of them. How much is this? Honestly, I get rid for twenty. Clean title, eighty-eight thousand miles. Yeah, I'm in my yeah. other one. Yeah. Already. Just wait. I mean, if you wait a couple years, it's already gonna go. Oh, I know. Seventy-eight, seventy-nine. Boom, you're in, you're in the gold. 
86 and a half plus yep. is all, all in the money. Those middle years are kind of weird, man. Nah, I get it. I hope they appreciate this. Okay. I used to work at Taco Bell four or five years ago up on Midway. Okay. This guy would come by and give us fifty dollars. He'd say, "Can I get two beef and Cheritos on the Taco Bell menu? That's only ten bucks." He'd say, "Keep the rest of the money." I'd be, "What?" <laughs> what <laughs> He'd say, "That's me it, man. abusing yeah. money my whole yeah. life." So I appreciate it, Richard, for Kick that. Kick-ass, man. Be cool. Yeah, this is a good-looking car. In and Out Burger, Monster, something like that. Oh, yeah. Did you ship this over from Sweden? Yeah. I'll be driving, uh, take a road trip up to Alaska. Oh, okay. Down to LA. Be part of the show or just? So it's uh, almost 8,000 miles or uh, a little more. It's really clean. I mean, it's yeah. really, really nice. It's uh, restored it to original condition. So it's the same colors and everything. It's very nice. Thank you. Very nice. And it uh, works really great on the, the drive. In front in Austin. Lots of room. That's when they made cars. For real. Unfortunately, it came uh, rain yesterday. So now it's a little. Uh, but it's a road trip. Well, glad you came by, man. Yeah, we thought we must visit you. Make, make sure that you, uh, you buy a shirt, give them your email. Yeah. Because, uh, with it. With it. Yeah, give away. Okay. Yeah, $200,000. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. Make yourselves at home. If you go around and through, then you can go around and through. Have you been in Sweden? Uh, the car show? Once. Elmer, yes. That's my hometown. Oh, okay. Very yeah, cool. cool. Yeah, we've been there once. Yes. But uh, if you want to go back there, you got to go through the store and around. Okay. All right, thank yeah, you. See you. And they're long. Yeah. Okay. Freaking cool. Yeah, I want a 59 and I'm 59? gonna pay for it. Uh, I got one that I'm looking at that's two-tone green. For real? Three, two, one. Yeah, uh, it's a triple green, 59 on uh there's a there's a red one for like two hundred and something, two ninety. This guy wants two ninety. Yeah, that one, man. But it's red. It's nice. Yeah. I just don't like red. Yeah, that's what uh, a lot of people they say they see too much red. The greens, you know, the blues, the light blues, there are a lot of. Super cool. Appreciate it. I'm tempted to give you a hundred for it. It's nice. That's the theme today, right? Nice. Oh, AC. It's got AC. Five today? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. It is. Good looking truck, man. Thank you. How much is it? It's actually not for sale. I just. <laughs> well, you know how that goes. You always got to have it. Everything's got a price. Everything's for sale. I just never thought about it. Exactly. Now it's a good looking truck. I appreciate it. Figure out how to put tilt. I know, right? That's on my list. I'm gonna put that back in. I don't like the way that's too smooth. I'm gonna do a tailgate. I'm gonna put it back better. Yeah, I get it. That's right. Oh. Huh? Oh. It's insane. The paint job on it is insane. Oh, fucking Dennis would be laying an egg over that right now. He's he won't he he won't sell it even at a hundred. Titles in, like. the safe. Titles, titles in the safe. Oh, yeah, right on. <laughs> nice to see you again. Yes, sir, you too, man. Yeah. So, actually, it's going pretty good. Uh, we got a good group here and uh, good tacos from my friends at Primo's and, uh, and cold beer. And, uh, you know, we only threw it out for one day, so I think it's a pretty hefty turnout. What's up, guys? So, it was an absolutely crazy week here. We had a 1937 panel van that was built on Fast and Loud stop by. We had the second episode of beer walk, and then we also had tires and tequila. Tacos and tires, tequila came after a couple drinks, a couple beers, you know. The name's a work in progress. So, we gotta get back to work, stay tuned. Next week we got 
even more cars coming through. So, see what happens next. FedEx is here. So, oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! That was payback. Brandon hit me with balls on Tuesday. This is all just payback. It was a long plan. I'm sorry, brother. Oh, that, that still hurt. <laughs>